Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Review and Review. And in this episode, in my hand, I have the MSI P65 Creator and an MSI PS42. But in this episode, we're gonna talk more about the P65 Creator because it's more directed towards you. Not to be mistaken for the gaming series where there's a G in front because G stands for gamer and P actually stands for prestige. So the P65 Creator is directed towards the creative consumer base such as videographers, professional photographers, 2D, 3D designers such as us, me, yes. So who is this laptop actually meant for? Well, honestly, it's actually meant for everyone. So before we get into the specifications of the laptop, let's just see what we have here on the side. On the right side, we have a USB port, a USB-C port, a mini display port, HDMI and a DC in port. And on the other side, we have two USB ports and a dual audio jack, one for your mic, one for your earpiece and an Ethernet port. So right now, I'm going to boot up the laptop and show you in real time how fast is it to boot up, alright? Starting from now. Alright, this is how fast. The logo is right there. That's how fast. And the cool thing about this laptop is that on the trackpad, there's a fingerprint scanner which I can just log in straight away. Ta-da! It's right there. So let's get the basics out of the way first, alright? This is a 15.6 inch Full HD display, 1920 by 1080 with a CPU of an i7 up to 8th gen. And as you can see here, the screen over here is 17.9mm with a bezel of 4.9mm, almost invisible. So this laptop comes with 16GB of RAM and a solid state drive of 512GB, hence the fast boot up. This laptop is super portable and super lightweight. It's actually weighed in at 1.8kg and it's made out of aluminum. Quite durable. Now, earlier on in the video when I said that this laptop is meant for everyone, it means that it's powered by GeForce GTX 1060 with Max-Q design with a 6GB GDDR5. Which means that you are still able to play your games at optimal level and still have battery life with 5000mAh that can last up to 8 hours. So honestly, this laptop is a jack of all trades. So for those of you who don't know what Max-Q is, I'm going to give you a little insight of what Max-Q really is, alright? So Max-Q is being used in aerospace engineering which stands for maximum dynamic pressure. But in a sense, in a laptop, it's all about power and heat efficiency. So what it does is that it keeps your GPU at that sweet spot for maximum power consumption and efficient battery level which means that it does not really overclock your laptop and causes it to overheat and makes the fan go in over time. But even though you are missing out on higher frame rates, it does keep your laptop at an optimal level. But do keep in mind, this is still not a gaming laptop. This is a prestige laptop, not a gaming series laptop. Okay, so we've talked enough about the insides. Let's talk about the outsides, all right? Over here, you can see the keypad. And in my opinion, using this laptop, typing on a keypad is actually very nice because it's super quiet. Now the trackpad, I'm not really a fan of because there are a few pressure points where it really feels super rigid and tough and the other parts, it feels super crispy. Like towards the edge, you feel like you need to put on extra pressure to actually click on it and on other parts, it, it seems like you don't need to put any pressure at all. So on the top left corner of the trackpad, you can see a black box over here. Now this is your fingerprint scanner which I actually use to log in and this is also very helpful with your Windows Hello. Now what Windows Hello is, is actually like a one-step authentication. All you need to do is just scan your fingerprint. When it comes to logging in, scan your fingerprint, don't even need a password. When you want to make online transactions at the Microsoft Store, scan your fingerprint and it's done. It's that simple guys. It's actually super efficient in my opinion because you don't waste time typing in a password, doing a 2FA maybe if you need it. All you need is just one fingerprint because no one else has your fingerprint. Right? Not that I know of. And as you can see here at the top, there's a speaker bar and there's actually two more speakers here, left and right. And I'm more of an earpiece and headphone kind of guy when it comes to audio. I'm not really a fan of audio coming straight off the laptop. But this laptop's audio is actually powered by Nahimic 3. So this part is actually directed more towards video editors and actually some gamers, alright? So over here, you have a lot of different modes and different profiles for you to choose from. You have your music settings, you have movie settings, you even have communication settings for your online video conferencing, and there's also for gaming. Now, now Himic 3 also gives you an option for the surround sound to give you a more immersive experience when you're watching movies. And you can actually feel it with or without the earpiece. And this next part that I'm going to talk about is actually super interesting to the gamers, alright? So over here on the left bar, you can see there's a sound tracker. 
Now what the sound tracker does is that it actually helps you detect where sounds are coming from in your game. So, for example, okay. So the radar actually indicates the in-game audio and where they actually come from. Now, you may think that this is actually cheating, but yes, it's actually cheating, guys. However, over here, you can actually search the compatibility of the games that are allowed to use the audio tracker. Because honestly, this will give you a very competitive edge. But you know, it's not allowed on Fortnite and PUBG. <coughs> now, when it comes to display, it's honestly nothing special. With 1920 by 1080 Full HD, it's nothing you've never seen before. But it comes with true color. And what does true color mean? Which means it has a color accuracy of 99% on sRGB, which makes it slightly easier for photo and video editing. Honestly, it would be better on a 4K resolution screen, but Full HD, in my opinion, it will suffice. It's good enough for me. Now, this bad boy costs $2,999. Yes, I know what you're thinking, all right? This laptop is pretty pricey. Yes, I know. But think about it, guys, all right? This laptop is the jack of all trades. It actually supports your creative side and your gaming side. So this laptop has the best of both worlds. You can game and you can edit. No complaints there. And it comes with two years of warranty and you can actually get it at your nearest Harvey Norman. So to wrap things up, guys, is the MSI P65 Creator for you? Well, honestly, it all depends what you plan to do with it because if you want to game on this laptop, I say it's okay but it's not the best because MSI has pretty awesome gaming laptops out there. However, if you're gonna use it for editing, photos or videos, I think it's pretty alright. It does a decent job and it's pretty smooth. But like I said, there are better gaming laptops out there from MSI which we will talk about very soon so stay tuned to that episode of Review and Review. And in the meantime guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you MSI for sending over this laptop. Leave down in the comment section below what you think about this laptop and subscribe to the channel for future updates and see you next time.